Welcome to the project demonstration of hybrid power generation for solar, wind and piezoelectric plates. In this project we are using uh, DC generator, piezo, piezo and solar, solar, solar plate and also using step down transformer. So we can charge this battery using these four sources. One is for the, uh, from electricity, one, another is from the piezo and this is for the solar and this is for the wind. So we can see here for the wind so if i rotate uh, this fan in a clockwise direction it will generate a power the same thing if we rotate this fan in a anti clockwise direction it will generate a power so this uh, rectifier uh, act as a polarity character and also reverse voltage protector so we can generate the uh, power supply power through this piezo plate so the piezo plates are in the cardboard if we press this one so the power will be generated that will be given to the rectifier input and also here we can see a uh, small light indication here so here we can see the solar uh, output is given to the rectifier input so if it is in uh, outside of the uh, sun sunlight it will generate a more power and also here we can see we can charge this battery using the step up step down transformer so it takes uh, 230 volts of power supply through this power cable so it is given to this step down transformer so it will step down up to 230 volts to 12 volts that 12 volts will be given to this rectifier input so rectifier converts ac to dc that dc voltage will be given to this battery so we can see the light indication which means battery get charging so one doubt will be raised in our mind that uh, these three sources will be generated DC power supply like a wind, piezo, a solar will be generated DC power supply and again why we are giving to the uh, input for the rectifier sorry generally rectifier converts AC to DC but uh, in the case we are uh, giving the input for the rectifier because if the voltage become higher polarity then reverse voltage will be go to the solar plate, piezo and wind wind generator so they will be damaged due to reverse voltage in order to protect these uh, sources we are using a rectifier so rectifier consists of a diodes so diodes uh, allows the forward current it doesn't uh, allow the reverse current and also the rectifier act as a polarity character so now we have seen here if it is rotated clockwise or anti-clockwise direction then it will generate a positive supply so power to negative supply so it doesn't change any polarities that's why we are using rectifier as a polarity character and reverse voltage protector and also ac to dc converter here we can see uh, another uh, um, inverter is using here to convert dc to ac so generally rectifier converts ac to dc current and the inverter converts dc to ac current in, in this one we can convert ac to dc to charge this one in this one we can um, on the load we are converting dc to ac current so here we can see the inverter board so this inverter board converts dc to ac current so in this inverter board we have a capacitor and a cd4047 ic timer and i have a two mosfet boards two mosfets and also have a resistors and light indication and also have a one switch to on and off this one so it will convert ac to sorry dc to ac current that will be given to this step up transformer so step up transformer will step up the voltage from low voltage to high voltage up to 200 volts it will uh, that 200 volt will will be given to this ac load the ac will ac bulb will be on so this uh, in inverter circuit CD4047 will generate a clock pulses that clock pulses will be given to the MOSFET gates so MOSFET gates uh, converts uh, DC to AC current through gate pulses so filter is used for the filtering the power supply uh, and also used for the power filter improvement in a AC current now we will give a uh, on the power supply so if we on this one so the power supply will be go to the rectifier so initially we have a switch for this uh, circuit so if we off this one then ac load will be off if you on this one then ac load will be in on so the pulses will be generated by this cd4047 that pulses will be given to the mosfet gate 
also this battery have a uh, each battery have a 4.1 amp uh, rating so if we add 4 volts batteries in a series the voltage will be added and current is the same so now it is will be it will be a 4 this is a 12 then it will it will become a 12 volt 1 amp battery and also we make another one like 4 volt we added 4 volts in a series and it will become a 12 volt 1 amp battery so if we add 12 volt 1 amp battery in a parallel it will become a 12 volt 2 amp battery in parallel series uh, current will be added so now it will become a 12 volt 2 amp battery that 12 volt 2 amp battery will give a input to this inverter so inverter converts ac to dc to ac it will convert alternative current to direct current then it will step up the voltage and ac load will be on in this way this provide will be works thanks for the watching